to us now, now the day after the wedding. The wedding was awesome. It was, it was so good. Great to see, great to see friends and celebrate them getting married. It was pretty, pretty cool. Didn't really film, busy hanging out. It's all good. We're out here today, just made some breakfast. Uh, gonna keep driving and hopefully, hopefully see some cool things today. Kind of see what we run into, but definitely had a better sleep last night. Last night was a better, a better sleep, which is great. The van life is amazing, but it can sometimes be challenging to get good sleeps, even though even though I lived in this for like six months. It still can be hard to get a good sleep. Cause you try to keep a healthy flame Cause you try to protect the thing that you came to love From falling down into that hole Burning out deep inside the snow. So we're driving down the road and uh, ran into these two. And uh, now we're here at this place called, what's it called, Jeremy? It's called Drum Heller. We're gonna go check it out. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Okay, let's go. and smoking guns Drive across the vacant spaces The empty spacious parking lot Walking past the worn out faces Looking broken, shapeless lot Okay, Chef Janelle, what's for dinner tonight? Pork steaks Pork steaks Barbecued potatoes Barbecued potatoes and broccoli. And broccoli. We're here in uh, Canmore, Alberta, on our way home up in the mountains again. We're, we're parked behind a save on this time, a little different than the mountain lakes we slept next to last time we were coming through. Uh, but uh, cooking a meal here. It's a little chilly outside, so we're cooking inside. The roof fan is killing it. And uh, Ooh, yeah, should be a good night. Drive across the vacant spaces, the empty spacious parking lot. Walking past the worn out faces, looking broken, shapeless, lost. So Janelle and I came down uh, a little detour into a, a little place called Vernon on our way home. And uh, we came through Vernon so I could meet this guy in real life. Introduce yourself. I'm Justin Jackson. Justin Jackson. <laughs> you, this, is, this is someone who, who, who reached out to me after Untethered came out. And it was one of the situations where I was like, wait, this guy's reaching out to me. This is really cool. Like, Sweet, and uh, he actually runs a really cool podcast called Mega Maker. I wear that shirt actually pretty often. I have a Mega Maker shirt uh, that you can see in the van build episodes. Uh, but this is the guy behind that podcast. He's all about making stuff, 
which which I really like because I like making things. But here's Justin. Uh, Justin, where can people go to find your stuff? Uh, probably justinjackson.ca, megamaker.co. Yeah. Yeah. But this is what I love, man. This is like the getting to meet like people you meet on the internet in real life. Yeah. Is one of my like ultimate joys in yeah. life because it. You think it like the internet's so inter like not personal, but yeah. really it is. Like you can really build real friendships and relationships online. Mm -hmm. And I've had people <laughs> visit me here from Japan and like all over the place. So I dig it. It's like super fun for me. So this is Justin. He's been an amazing host here in Vernon. Haven't really documented Vernon much, but I guess this is the most Next important. Time. This is the most important thing to see in Vernon. <laughs> so there, there it is, guys. And uh, now Janelle and I are gonna keep heading on our way home. It's good. So we've been on the road here all morning and uh, just stopped at another friend's farm here in a little town called Carmias. And uh, I'm gonna take a few pictures of his farm here and then we'll continue on the road. This is Jim. Sweet. <laughs> Where have we gone? Split between the separate ends of separate friends and smoking guns. Drive across the vacant spaces, the empty, spacious parking lot. Walking past the worn out faces, looking broken, shapeless, lost. Oh. So we're back in Chillac now. I just took the exit for our apartment here back in British Columbia, out of the Rockies, and we're home. Feels good to be home. Uh, yeah, this trip was a blast. So good to see Justin and be at the wedding and see other people and so much fun to travel and really great to take Florence into the Rockies. It's uh, exciting with each van trip, we become more aware of the flaws of our current setup and kind of what our hopes and wishes are uh, for the future conversion to come. And so that's kind of nice to actually get some trips under our belt so we know a little bit more about what our needs are and things like water systems and heating when it's cold at night because it definitely got really cold a night or two there so those are definitely things that we've been thinking about and it's good to do a few trips with it like this so that way when we do have those things we appreciate them more but we're back home and there's so much that I want to talk about with business stuff I've been thinking a ton about business stuff because our wedding is now happened we are married we've been married for a month which is incredible. So good. We're still doing good, right? We're doing good? So good. So good. But now I get to think more about business stuff because wedding planning season is over and Janelle and I are talking about the future and kind of what our dreams about life are and my thought, and I've been thinking for a while, I want to share more on Left Coast Life, kind of my thought processes and get very nitty gritty in some of the financial things, but also just talk openly about uh, some of the struggles that go with trying to start a media company. Uh, and I want to be really transparent and open with that because I think that would have been really helpful for me uh, and it still would be helpful for me to see someone else talk about that and see what they're doing to kind of cope with some of the things that go along with trying to build what I'm trying to build. So, so yeah, if you watched through to the end of this episode, thank you. It's been a blast. Hope you're doing well. And uh, remember, life's better when you make stuff. Sure is. What is it? Sure is. Is it? It is. But if it is better, what do you make? Muffins. <laughs> <laughs> she makes really good muffins. <laughs> so this is a, a bit of a random moment, but uh, I'm impatient and I don't want to open this. I just got a, a package from my friend Jordan. And uh, I know that it's a t-shirt, but I'm not sure what kind of t-shirt it is. And he had asked for uh, my address so he could send it to me. I'm pretty excited to open it, so... I love t-shirts. This guy makes really cool stuff. I'll, I'll link up his Snapchat and Instagram in the, in the description. Oh, cool. cool. Awesome. Thanks, Jordan. This is sweet. So I just picked up the piece of cardboard and I realized he has a hand-lettered quote piece that he made for me. And it's the quote that I always say, life's better when you make stuff. And it's like, this is amazing. Man, I have no idea how he does this. This is crazy. Check that out. That is amazing. That just blows my mind.
What? <laughs> so cool. Just got the call I've been hoping to get all week. Uh, there's a bunch of free furniture that I'm gonna go get. Pretty excited about it because we've been like eating with a pretty ghetto little table and uh, <laughs> ghetto chairs in our apartment here. And uh, now it sounds like we're gonna get, get a nice upgrade. So I'm pretty stoked about that. And uh, gonna drive now into Langley to go get it. Oh, looking long. 